All right, here we are with our exam three material. It's question number 15. It says in the reaction below, identify the oxidizing agent, the reducing agent, the species that gets oxidized, and the species that gets reduced. Okay, so what we need to do for this sort of question is we need to identify the charges of all of the different atoms. Now, bromine, oh, it's doing, doing us a favor. It's showing that it's minus one because that is indicated there. Now, H2O2 and H+, plus. okay, those are a little bit trickier. Well, then on the opposite side of our, we've got our products of Br2 and 2H2O. Now, we've got H+, plus. It tells us that it has a charge of plus one. And we're going to believe that hydrogen over here in our H2O2 is going to also have a charge of plus one. Now, oxygen is almost always a minus two charge. However, there is an instance when it is not, and that is when it is in a, in a compound known as a peroxide. This is an example of a peroxide. This is hydrogen peroxide. When oxygen is in a peroxide, it has a minus one charge. And that's each one of them. So there is two hydrogens plus two, and there's two oxygens minus two. So it gives it an overall charge of minus, or of nothing, of zero. Okay. Now on our product side, we've got bromine, which has a zero charge. We have hydrogen. Well, hydrogen is going to maintain a plus one charge because there's two of them. And then oxygen, we are not in a peroxide. So oxygen can revert to its normal minus two charge. Okay. So what we want to do with this sort of question is look at what are these the species, what are the substances that change charge? Well, one of them is bromine. Bromine went from minus one to zero. Okay, so by virtue of it going from minus one to zero, that means it went from a negative charge, something with an electron, to something neutral with one less electron. So this would be bromine gets oxidized. Therefore, by it getting oxidized, it is the reducing agent. Now, the species, whenever I say the thing that gets oxidized, the thing get, that is the reducing agent or something like that, I'm looking at it from the perspective of the reactant side, from the left-hand side of the reaction. Okay. Next up, hydrogen. Is hydrogen getting reduced or anything like that? No, it's not, because hydrogen on the reactants and the product side it always has a plus one charge. So it's not, it's not hydrogen. So that leaves only oxygen. Oxygen with a minus one charge goes on to make or to be oxygen with a minus two charge. So it gains an electron. So it gets reduced. Therefore, oxygen as a part of H2O2 is the oxidizing agent. I think it's fair to say that H2O2 would be the oxidizing agent, but it's oxygen itself that is getting reduced because nothing changes with respect to the, the hydrogen charge. Okay, so for this, what I did was I identified the charges of every single atom on the reactants and the product side and saw which ones of them are different. I hope this was helpful and I hope that you had no issue doing this problem. I uh, will see you in the next problem.